Beautiful October fall day here on the south side of the Steelers Complex. I'm Justin LaVar alongside Steeler beat reporters Alan Robinson, Mark Caboli. Beautiful day here in Pittsburgh, but not quite a, uh, a beautiful time for the Steelers organization. 0-4. Uh, the last loss, of course, came in London to the Vikings. And then they have a, a bye week to try to get things straight, and they're going up against the New York Jets team in New York, a surprising New York Jets team. Mark Caboli, how much worse can things get? You get a lot worse, Justin. I mean, 0-4 is bad enough, but... Uh, I don't know if this team has hit rock bottom yet. It very might well have in London, losing to the Vikings the way they did. But they've had two weeks off. They're able to uh, put that behind them. And all they're doing right now is trying to win one game. I mean, it might be a cliche. We'll take it one game at a time. But the biggest game thing right now is they have to find a way to win games. They found ways to lose games over the past four weeks in every different fashion from the offense to the defense to turnovers to whatever you want to call it. They have to find a win. You have to do anything you can possibly do in New York this week to come out with a win. If it's 2 nothing, if it's 3 nothing, if it's 54 nothing, And that's what they've spent their time on. They have to find a way to win. If they're able to do that, they can move forward and put this terrible start behind them. But it all starts with that first win. They they have to get it. Alan Robinson says a big truck is coming towards our set uh, to deliver something. Are the Steelers going to deliver a win to Steel Nation? Uh, hopefully they're delivering a few turnovers. Uh, you said it's a beautiful day, but it's not a beautiful day in Mr. Tomlin's neighborhood. I mean, you know, what nobody's pointing out is, except I'm going to do it right now, they're now hitting their tough, toughest part of their schedule. They're going on the road to the Jets. I mean, this was supposed to be a gimme win at the start of the season. All of a sudden the Jets are 3-2. and two. They've got a hot quarterback in Geno Smith. Now then you come back and you play Baltimore here. You know, that's, that's always a tough game. It's always a pick'em game. You just don't know how that's going to go. Then you go on the road to Oakland, a place where you, you, you never play well. Right. I mean, they play terribly out there. And then, then they have to go to New England. You know, that, that's, that's the three of the next four are on the road for a team that doesn't have much confidence. It's a little shaky right now. We'll have to see if the bye week does anything for them. Ryan Clark is still talking about making the playoffs. I don't know whether that's just a pipe dream or whimsical, him talking whimsically or not. It seems like they just can't get out of the mindset that this is not the same Steelers season that they're accustomed to having. This is an 0-4 team, and this is a team that, look, it could be 1-7 and it could be one and, seven and, and three weeks from now. Very possible. And uh, All right, well, every single week we always give our predictions. Mark, uh, I think you've predicted a win the last two times. Uh, so where, where are you with this one against the Jets? Wow. Flip a coin? Nah, you know what? This is a th the reason why I like the Steelers in this one. Of course, they're due for a win, 0-4. But they had 14 days to prepare. The Jets are coming off a road Monday night game. Quick turnaround. They have to find a way to win the game. I think they'll be able to pull this one out, 24-21. But you know what? I'm probably wrong. Mark Aboli Radio Show every Monday at 2. Check him out. Uh, I don't have a radio show, but I'll also offer a prediction. <laughs> uh Look, uh, Geno Smith was a turnover machine until the, this last week when he played against Atlanta. And he had, what, uh, seven or eight turnovers, I think, in a couple-game stretch. That's exactly what the Steelers are going to need, I think, is somebody like this who might be turnover-prone. Uh, they'll turn the ball over a couple times in, in, in the Meadowlands, and I think the Steelers actually come away from the 20-13 to 13 win. Because, look, this is the fifth week of the season. They need to win this game to save their season. If they go 0-5, they're not talking about the playoffs. We'll find out. Playoffs, uh, we'll find out this week if the Steelers can get a win. Of course, uh, TribLive.com. Uh, you can download the uh, TribLive radio app, the TribLive.com app. You can read all their work online, radio, video. They're everywhere covering this uh, very interesting and controversial Steelers season. Alan Robinson, Mark Boley. I'm Justin LaBar.